Run, it's on, Mom. Right. And I just aim it, I don't have to. Just, uh, just show around the garden. Uh, uh, uh. I guess I had a lot of help with this. Um, I couldn't do this. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't do that much stuff anymore. So I tried to make the garden easy to work as easy as possible I'm using the, the soil I've had before, um, which is a very loose mix, and then we put it into these um, uh, uh, hair pruning containers, or somebody did put them in there. Maybe I didn't put them in there. But, uh, good thing you got a good mother. That's a big air pruning container in there. It's inside a uh, large wading pool. Say a yeah, large wading pool, I guess you're saying. These are the small wading pools over here that have my tomatoes and my... Um, now these watermelon, these should be bigger watermelon. So next year we'll do things different. I'll go into more detail on that on another day. Uh, let's... Uh, then we'll look at these tomatoes over here. Uh, 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 um, so anyway, these uh, tomatoes and the peppers, I've had to do some adding additives, um, but um, I had to give the pepper some lime, seemed like they needed that, and the tomatoes needed some potash apparently, and so did the peppers. They're doing a lot better since I gave them potash, but these tomatoes were not producing tomatoes. They were just growing vine. They were doing really good, nice healthy plants other than the blooms were not healthy. I gave them some potash and the blooms are healthy now uh, and they're getting tomatoes on them. So And I gotta tell you, everybody says prune your peppers, prune your peppers. I pruned. I had these peppers are all the same. That big tall prune pepper right there, I never pruned it at all. Um, and I about killed the other peppers pruning them. I swear I pruned them just like everybody was saying. Did not help at all. Uh, and then over here we got more tomatoes. Planted way too many tomatoes probably. If I could just get some earlier ones is all early after. Get some early tomatoes because these are all going to come due at once. Um, and I have tomatoes coming out my ears here in late sep late August and September. We'll take care of Yeah, we'll take care of I do have one ripe tomato over there. Or it's nearly ripe. That's the only one of the full size. I've had a lot of cherry tomatoes. You don't see them now, but... There were a lot of cherry tomatoes we've already picked. There's a few on there. And we just picked them last night. But these, here's my bell pepper. Let's do a close up of my bell peppers here. I just picked the bell pepper off of this plant so that it would, um, uh, uh, grow quicker. So it was, it looked like it wasn't going to grow too quickly, and I didn't feel like leaving it on there to ripen. So I went ahead and picked it, even though it was green. Now, this one's nice and healthy plant. Some of the others aren't too bad. That one doesn't look very well. And I, I think it's because, probably because of lack of potash, and probably because I didn't get enough lime in the soil. Uh, I'd have put a little bit of lime in there. And some of the others are struggling too.
but we're also see some healthy. They're starting to get healthier since I put the pout ash on there. But I did a soil sample of this yesterday, and the soil sample uh, showed that it was depleted of uh, potash. Um, but it did. It also showed an overabundance of uh, phosphorus. Oddly enough, I didn't expect that. Oh, and we put up these frames. Uh, probably not the best way to go with your trellising, but uh, you can see I posted it. Uh, we dug or shoved them in the ground. I didn't do it again. I didn't. I had help with all this junk. Um, well, I had good help with all this junk. My mother helped me with all this junk. What do you want me to say? My mother did this stuff. Yeah, she did all this. She's got to have credit for all of No, this. I don't have to have credit, but you seem to not even know who helped you. Okay, she helped me. There's that one tomato that's right. And, and yeah. sure, she put up all these stakes in the ground and then run these holes between them. And that holds everything together so that they don't fall over. But now these, you can see this one's getting so tall. Uh... We're going to have to do something with it, and I don't know what. Probably post something in the ground here. Because uh, once you get tomatoes up there, they're going to be trying to fall over. It's a little spindly, too, and it? it's not thick like those. Okay, here, let me see. Did <laughs> turn it off? No, I don't have to turn it off. Okay. 